Is Gig Harbor an expensive or inexpensive place to live? Well, watch this video and let's find out. Hey everybody, my name is Darren Rivers. I am the Northwest Realtor. Welcome to my office. I think this is the first time I've done a video from my office. So uh, anyway, welcome. Uh, if you're new to this channel, this is Living in Gig Harbor. And uh, why don't you subscribe? You can tap that little bell right there, get all your notifications of all the videos I send out. Um, I'm gonna put all my information right here as well, so please feel free to reach out with a phone call or a text message, even put a little comment in the comment section of this video, and share it with a friend of yours if you think this might be beneficial to them and some of the information I supply. So uh, let's get started on if it's expensive or cheap to live in Gig Harbor, Washington. So is Gig Harbor an expensive place to live or an inexpensive place to live? Well, that really depends on what you're accustomed to and where you're coming from. Uh, if you compare it to the national um, statistics, we're going to be on the higher end. The average price for this, uh, a home sale in the United States in the first quarter of 2022 was $428,000. Well, Gig Harbor tends to be quite a bit more than that. Our average price in Gig Harbor is around $800,000. Now I'm going to dig into a bunch of different areas. The MLS here has Gig Harbor divided into nine different areas and some of those areas dramatically change the price point. And so we're going to dig into that right here. Uh, but if you're coming from places like Oklahoma or Missouri or Indiana and things like that, um, the home prices on the West Coast tend to be quite a bit more and the Pacific Northwest is of no exception to that. We're going to tend to be a little bit higher price point than other parts of the country. So like I just mentioned, there are nine designated areas per the MLS of Gig Harbor. And uh, so we moved here, I got a computer screen up here with a map of Gig Harbor so I can point out the different areas and the price point differences uh, for each. And this, these price points are based on what's happened to Gig Harbor in the last 30 days, okay? So let's talk really quick. Area number one is Gig Harbor itself, which is just right down here, downtown Gig Harbor. And the average price point in downtown Gig Harbor over the last little bit of time is $750,000. Area number two is Purdy. And Purdy's gonna be right up here. You go over this little bridge here to the Purdy Spit, which gets you over to Key Peninsula. So the Purdy area, that average price point is $607,000. And it's gonna be kind of weird because when we go through areas one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to nine, it jumps around here to different areas in Gig Harbor. I don't know what the rhyme or reason is to it, it just does. But we're gonna go chronological order of one through nine, even though it's sometimes those areas aren't connected here. So that's why I'm bouncing around a little bit. Area number three that we're gonna go over is Rosedale. So Rosedale is right here. It's the west side of Highway 16. Includes Raft Island, uh, Simmel Park, a couple other places like that are in Rosedale. Rosedale average price point is $797,000 right now. So as you can see, all the areas we've discussed so far are well above that national average of 428. That's gonna hold true for almost all the areas except for when we get to area four, it's gonna be below the national average. So like I just mentioned, area four is below the national average and we're talking about Key Peninsula South. Key Peninsula South is way down here and for some reason in the MLS, it includes it as part of Gig Harbor, but you start getting over to Lake Bay and Vaughn and Home and Long Branch, things like that. So it's way down here and it's like a 35 minute drive to get over there. Um, and the average price point over there is only $382,000. So it's significantly less than Gig Harbor proper. It's even less than the national average. Um, part of the reason for that is it's so remote. It's so far from anything and it takes a long time to get anywhere, even just groceries, transportation, go to the airport, whatever it may be. You're a long way away. Remember how I talked about there's no rhyme or reason to how it jumps from one to nine? Well, we're on to number five, and sure enough, area number five is Fox Island. So we jump from Key Peninsula South over to Fox Island. Fox Island's average price point, I forgot, let me look. 
I'm back is $970,000. It's almost a million dollars on Fox Island. Now realize you have a lot of waterfront homes with their own docks and uh, buoys out there for their private boats. So um, it's a much more expensive area, largely due to all the waterfront. I mean, it's an island, of course, it's surrounded with water. So there's virtually a house on every buildable lot on Fox Island. And the average price point, $970,000. Area six is Gig Harbor South. So that's gonna be Artendale, Cromwell, Wallachet area, things like that. Average price point is $768,000. Now there's some homes along here in the water just across from Fox Island that are multi-million dollar properties for sure. But there's other neighborhoods in here that are just kind of normal neighborhoods where the price points might be 600, 700. So when you average it all out, six, or I'm sorry, $768,000. Area number seven is Artendale. Artendale is really kind of the heart of Gig Harbor. It's right here. Again, it's the west side of Highway 16, goes all the way over to Kopachuk. Um, just between Rosedale and Gig Harbor South, basically, Artendale. It's a pretty big area. Um, sorry for the little hesitation there, but Artendale, the average price point is $865,000. So. Not high as uh, Fox Island, which was nine hundred and seventy thousand dollars. But you start getting up there. There's some there's some equestrian properties in there and some acreage, so that brings the price point up. When you're buying five or ten acres in Gig Harbor, that's that's premium. So you definitely have some of those in that area, which helps drive that price point up to eight hundred sixty-five thousand dollars is the current average price point in Artendale. Number eight on this list of uh, areas in Gig Harbor is Gig Harbor North. Gig Harbor North is, is right up here. It includes neighborhoods like Cannerwood, which is a pretty exclusive neighborhood. Average price point well over a million dollars in that specific neighborhood. Uh, but it's also got Harbor Hill and places like that, which are very much track home communities and has several thousand homes. And they're kind of the cookie cutter homes. You know, they're built, like every fourth home looks the same. The lots are really small. So anyway, the average price point in Gig Harbor North is eight hundred and twenty thousand um, dollars and again that that's the average so the Cannerwood neighborhoods and the Crescent Valley estate neighborhoods where you have multi-million dollar homes raises that price way up and there's other areas that bring the house right or the housing prices right down so the average eight hundred twenty thousand dollars Gig Harbor North this is where Costco is Home Depot Target all the great amenities like that uh, it's a relatively new area in many regards and um, so that's where we're at for number eight Last but not least is area number nine, uh, which is Key Peninsula North. So we're jumping back over onto Key Peninsula, but this is gonna be the north area. So Wana, Mentor, things like that are out here. Average price point out there is a little bit above the national average, um, which is 428 for the national average. The area out here, average price point is $470,000. So. When you come over to the Key Peninsula, the price point goes way down, much closer to the national average. South area is even less than the national average. But if you stay on this side of the pretty bridge and you stay all over here, you're gonna be, in some cases, double what the national average is. So the last thing I wanna do in this video, we talked about the nine areas in Gig Harbor. The two that are kind of one-offs as far as really lowering the price point, but then Gig Harbor itself, being, you know, 750, 800,000, Fox Island, almost a million dollar average price point. I wanna compare that to some of the surrounding areas, okay? So South Kitsap, which is up here, you cross into the Kitsap County uh, area out of Pierce County, average price point in South Kitsap is $548,000. So it drops quite a bit from Gig Harbor proper. People often ask me, why is it so much cheaper when you cross into Kitsap County and it's just different, it's a different demographic. Um, the school system isn't nearly as uh, highly rated as Gig Harbor is. Um, you just get, it's more rural, it's not as developed. And so it's just the property, uh, the property values are a little less there. And then therefore, obviously that reflects in the home prices. The home prices are simply less in the South Kitsap area than when you cross into Gig Harbor. So let's compare how Gig Harbor is to the other side of the Tacoma Narrows Bridge when you get over into University Place and Fircrest. So University Place, the average price point is $640,000. In Fircrest, the average price point is $610,000. So 
is closer to Gig Harbor. But the reason why Gig Harbor tends to be a little more expensive is you're out of the hustle and bustle of Tacoma. Tacoma is a big city, comes with big city stuff, big city problems, big city crime, things like that. Gig Harbor is very much a bedroom community. You cross that bridge, you come into your own little quiet oasis here. It's very desirable, therefore the price points are a bit higher. University Place has got a great school district, um, and it's a desirable place to live, but you border Tacoma, and Tacoma's not nearly as nice. So, um, for the most part, not all areas. Some areas are great, but you know, when you get a bigger city, you have the extremes on both ends. So, uh, there you have it. Gig Harbor price points. Plan on paying $750,000, $800,000, sometimes more. There you have it, folks. There's my logo, my name, Northwest Realtor. I hope you enjoyed this video at the Living in Gig Harbor channel. Um, again, this was just going over the various areas of Gig, of Gig Harbor, the price points, and you can decide if it's an expensive area to live or a cheap area to live. And again, it depends. If you're coming from Beverly Hills, your money goes a long way. If you're coming from Tulsa, Oklahoma, you're probably going to think it's pretty expensive. So anyway, again, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, share it with a friend of yours. Send me a message. I'm going to put all my contact information over this screen right here so you can get a hold of me directly. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.